So the anal stage or anal type of personality, uh, we go through this stage when we are, we went through the stage when we were like between year and a half and three years old. And the focus of libido, and again, this is the part of the body where child receives the biggest pleasure, pleasure is anus. And um, the child must learn how to control his bodily needs, the ability to control his body. And this stage is where uh, the child uh, develops a sense of control, a sense of accomplishment and independence. If uh, the child went uh, through the stage successfully, then he grows up into a com competent adult, a person with good self-esteem, uh, a person who can control himself, a person who can control his life, a person who can control money, a person who can create gold, uh, goals, and a person who is successful financially. And people who had uh, fixation on this stage uh, and fixation is formed when parents were too controlling, uh, when parents did not reward the child for learning how to use a potty, those people develop anal type of personality. And children who had problems with the constipation or diarrhea might develop two types of personality. It can be an obsessive controlling behavior or a person with a messy type of personality, person who cannot be in charge of anything. So there are two opposite type of personality. And obsessive controlling behavior uh, is the fixation on holding feces. When the person had too much stress, a child had too much stress, too much fixation, too much tension on holding his feces. When the child was uh, trying so hard uh, to, to hold his feces in order not to poop to his pants. And uh, as an adult, we might see a person who wants uh, to control everything. Everything should be on its place, uh, on its order. Um, a person with OCD personality disorder, a person who has a spotless house, a woman who has a spotless kitchen, everything is organized at, in, at her kitchen, in her kitchen. Uh, a person with a spotless office, uh, a woman with a spot, or oh, a man with a perfect closet, where clothing uh, is sorted by type and color. Mm. A person who likes to be in control, who never late, uh, and he might actually get angry if he is late. He will feel shame, and he is not okay when other people are late. He's gonna judge other people for being late. Uh, here we're gonna have a person who spends money only on necessary things, uh, who likes to save money, mm, and. He might even have a hard time of spending money on himself. He will not buy expensive stuff because it's a waste of money unless it's uh, ex absolutely necessary. And here we're also going to have a good girl syndrome or good boy syndrome. Uh, it's desire to be perfect, desire to be good, desire to be the best in everything. And the person who is going to intellectualize and rationalize uh, his uh, decisions, his life, and this person is um, not gonna be any... These people are, are not usually creative people because they have to block the creativity. Creativity is when you let things go the way they are, you open and you have no expectations. Then you create new things like an artist or musician or a dancer. And those people, they are always in control. They cannot uh, just relax and let things go. And another uh, type uh, of anal personality is uh, an opposite, a, a messy person, a person who cannot be in charge or who hate to be in charge. And also the fixation, uh, uh, fixation means tension, right? Fixation was on uh, this party training stage. When the person um, was uh, uh, fixated on letting go on, of his feces. Um, and as an adult, we see a person who cannot save money, a shopaholic. 
the people who always in debt or people who can barely survive between salaries uh, we might have a person who struggles uh, with planning his life, planning in advance his family vacations, holidays, parties, a person who cannot uh, organize things, uh, a person who cannot keep his word, uh, who will change his opinion often, uh, a person with a super messy closet, uh, who has uh, a messy car, a complete mess in his car, and um, a women, w women who have uh, a mess in their purses. And um, this uh, fixation, it can be deep or it can be shallow. So uh, maybe you are a well-organized person at work, but when you come home, your home is a mess. So it means that you had fixation on this stage, but it did not affect it all your life. But because you had a fixation on this stage at home, you are a total mess. And again, during the uh, healing, uh, the inner child workshop, we're gonna work on uh, transformation of those feelings. Of trans uh, we're gonna transform the fixation. We're gonna heal. Uh, this fixation and it's going to be an exercise a toad in a swamp and we're going to release your hidden aggression because fixation is always about aggression I will talk about it a little bit later and we're going to learn how to release your aggression and how to overcome all those shoulda, woulda, coulda I have to, I must to uh, and allow yourself to desire what you want, accept, uh, allow yourself to accept your body and to love yourself, to love your body. Uh, and we're gonna do an exercise which is called I Can. And we're gonna talk ab about the ability to be the boss of your own life and to live by your own rules and make, uh, be responsible for the decisions that you make. And anal aggression. Aggression can be formed when a toddler has too much tension, too much stress during party training. When he cannot hold um, his feces or he cannot release his feces, he becomes angry. And the fixation of uh, on this stage can lead to uh, masochism. And uh, the masochism is the mechanism of uh, enduring a pain or sadism. And sadism is an uncontrolled desire to cause pain to other person or an animal. And here again, uh, a person can develop two types of fixation. It can be squandering or savings. And the person often feel angry with himself for that, for uh, being too controlling or uh, for being squandered. And Behind this aggression uh, is the aggression on parents. For example, a child gets angry when uh, a parent says something like this. Until you poop, you're not going to play. Until you poop, you're not going to watch TV. No devices until you finish pooping. Or uh, if the child pooping his pants, a, a parent might say uh, something like, Shame on you. You are a big boy. Why can't you learn how to use potty? And the mother or father is shaming um, his child and the child feels angry. But he cannot feel angry towards his parent, so he feels angry towards himself. So this is uh, inner aggression. And uh, because he cannot feel angry towards his parent, another way he's gonna be angry towards other people. Again, a child might be mm, quiet at home, but when he goes to school, he might become violent because this anger that he feels inside, he cannot release it to parents, he's gonna release it to other people. Mm. And as a result, we might have an angry person or a person who is uh, always looking for permission, for advice. Uh, for example, a woman who constantly calls 
calls her husband or her parent, her girlfriend, and she has to discuss every decision that she is making. Um, in reality, this type of uh, woman or this type of person is looking for a permission. She is afraid to make her own decision. So she is looking for parental permission for a parent who, parent who is gonna support her. And um, she did not have it in her childhood. So she is gonna, going to replay this, um, um, this scenario in her adult life. Uh, a person develops self-criticism and negative self-talk, inner aggression. If the child was not able to release this aggression on other kids or on other people, he's going to be angry and it's going to be inner aggression, hidden inner aggression, self-criticism and negative talk. And fixation on this stage can also lead to sexual problems. Uh, because sex involves different smells, fluids, sounds. In order to experience an orgasm, you have to relax, you have to let go of your guards, you have to allow all those smells, fluids, and sounds to be part of your sex life. And the person, he either cannot allow it, he is in control, he cannot relax, or the person or uh, is afraid. Uh, if it's a woman, she might be afraid of, of that the person will think something bad about her or she's going to be judged and she will be tense. And if she is tense, uh, then she cannot have orgasm. And I would like to uh, invite you again to the eight weeks of online training uh, where we're going to work with the aggression and we're going to do an exercise that's called four ways to respond to rudeness. And I will share with you four options, four ways how you can talk to rude people. And I will explain uh, which way is working in which situation. And I will share with you specific phrases that you can use if somebody is uh, um, talking in a rude way to you or somebody is crossing your boundaries. And we're also going to talk about uh, inner fears, hidden inner fears and hidden anxieties. And we're going to do an exercise that's called meeting your inner monster. And you will have an opportunity uh, to meet your inner monster in order to feed him, in order to calm him down. So you're not going to feel so anxious, so stressful in your real life. Then we're going to do the meditation, which is called the source of my strength. And I will show you, I will teach you how to open your internal uh, channel, internal source of your strength and abundance. And we're going to do an amazing um, exercise, uh, uh, which called overcoming the fear of great spider. And uh, a spider is a symbol of um, kids, uh, of children's fear of children's anxiety and we're gonna do an exercise that will help you to overcome this fear and leave all your fears in your past.